hard to read me And I know it's cause I'm getting greedy Cause I think no one that knows how to treat a man I'm just really trying to understand Who really trying to know Welcome back to my channel My name is Huja Welcome back We are just going to be doing a wig review And this wig is from Jana Collection they sent her over to me and I think she's beautiful. And I actually got the color M.B.L.Y.G. slash 30. I will put all of the description details you need to know down below. This is Wig Jada. I personally like, I was so excited for this wig. I think I've just been wanting something super glam, just super cute. So let's just get started. I will definitely go through all the details as the video goes on. So this is her right out of the box. It's a nice ombre, you know. Um, but this is what she looks like not on my head. She has two combs in front and then one in the back. And she also has adjustable straps. I also still kept the lace on just so that you guys could see. Um, what she is looking like so of course we are going to add all types of concealers you know me but yeah so let's just get started Woo! But without manipulating it it's very nice oh I feel fancy I might wear this to work not gonna lie really like her to the side just like slightly push to the side I'm feeling this I think I'm just into the color but like the curls with the color is just like wow. she is pre-plucked so that just means all of the hairline is already plucked for you so you don't have to do it she also ha does have a natural um parting space it's actually extended which is really great not a lot of wigs come extended and then <sighs> the meltdown baby this is some serious so it says that it's transparent Swiss lace and that's actually true because it's really matching my skin tone so I really like that it actually does say the translucent lace and natural hairline will give off the illusion that your wig is growing from your scalp we are just going to cut off the lace I love to get really close to the hairline whenever I'm cutting and you guys have seen me do this before right here it does look very natural to the side um because it's like curling and all that fun stuff I'm really just going to fluff out the bangs oh i really did not want to brush this out because the more that you brush out a wig the bigger it gets we are going to take a small brush any foundation um powder liquid whatever you want to use i'm using a bronzer today not a foundation just because i just want to see i mean like i bronzed my forehead with this so the colors um need to match going into your scalp so all i'm doing is taking a bit of bronzer and brushing that into the wig this is like the best way to really get rid of that lace because it looks a little netty if that makes sense like the lace i can see it so all i'm doing is trying to conceal that <clears throat> because the lace is a lot lighter than what i would want so now i mean before you could definitely see the lace but now it looks like it's disappearing because of the steps that I'm taking so definitely find something that matches your um, skin tone so that your hair is going to match okay and I like to position my wigs where my hairline literally starts <laughs> I have a big forehead, but I mean, it's not going to look realistic if I pull it all the way down. Like, people know what I look like. And you actually can part anywhere. It gives you a natural hairline wherever you want. So with a smaller brush, maybe like a concealer brush, this is what the size is going to look like. Oh my God, my hands are so white. Yeah. So with a smaller brush like this, definitely take that same shade and... 
follow along that part that you want because you could either put this wig on the side like I did or you could actually just do it and so we don't need this wand to be up so high so I'm actually gonna set it to maybe 250 now we are ready so we are only wanding the top just a little bit and it's working great yes honey so now we are just going to really soften these up but grouping them so I'm just going to come through them and then group them back together but I just want to make them look as natural as I can like oh yes honey so this is what she looks like in the middle now it's looking a little bit like how I really wanted it to the curls are super fresh and that's the reason why they looked unnatural this wig honeys this 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 one like I y'all need to go purchase this truthfully I mean if you really want something that's gonna stick out during um this season I think this is the one for you honestly it will work for any race any skin tone um it's just a matter of if you want to look bomb or not you want to look bomb or no so I didn't cut this wig and you know I usually like customize it to what I think is right but I didn't do anything to this besides cutting off the lace which is perfect so I told you guys all the details I told you guys everything you needed to know if anything I really just smoothed out one side just to get everything laid and cute and that was pretty much it so I mean this didn't have to be long it just needed to get the point across that this wig is bomb so yes this wig was from Janet collection and I love them very much I thank them if you want this wig go ahead and get it it's gonna be in the description box below um the cap construction was really well you do get a little bit of shedding not gonna lie um but the meltdown is very easy just make sure that you're using a foundation that is very close to your skin color just so that um, you have that contrast when it comes to your meltdown. That it looks like it's growing out of your scalp like they say but it was very true like I definitely believe it. And it came with baby hair so if you guys wanted to use that baby hair it's definitely the way to go. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, more wigs coming to you very soon.